and thanks for joining us from our new studio in Israel. I'm Denise Wood here with ILTV's Morning Briefing. A bus bombing yesterday in Jerusalem injured a total of 21 people, with 16 physically wounded and five others suffering from shock. Of the injured, two were critically wounded and seven are moderately injured. And in a turn of events, police believe one of the men in critical condition is the terrorist who was carrying the bomb. The initial investigation indicates that the blast may have ignited earlier than the terrorist intended. The police say that no identifying documents were found on the suspected terrorist, who's about 30 years old. No one has come to ask about his condition, which is only strengthening the suspicion that he was the terrorist carrying the bomb. U.S. Vice President Joe Biden is lashing out at the Netanyahu government saying he's overwhelmingly frustrated with Israel's land seizures and the legalization of settlement outposts. Biden claims Netanyahu has led Israel in the wrong direction, but says the United States will maintain its security support for Israel. Biden also says Netanyahu's policies are moving Israel toward a one-state reality, where Israeli Jews will no longer be the majority. And he didn't only criticize Israel. The vice president says neither Netanyahu nor Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas are encouraging peace. It looks like the agreement to install security cameras on the Temple Mount may not happen after all. Jordan says it's nixing the project due to Palestinian opposition. Israel and Jordan had agreed to install the cameras to monitor potential security situations on the site. But now the Hashemite Kingdom is backtracking because Palestinians are afraid the visuals could be used to identify rioters. Last month, Jordan announced that it would install 55 cameras at the site. But following the announcement, Palestinian protesters said they would smash the cameras. The opponents fear that the footage could be used to tip off Israeli police about Palestinians trying to start violent conflicts at the site. The area is holy to both Jews and Muslims and has been a focal point of violent clashes and demonstrations. The Jerusalem District Court is convicting Yosef Ben David for the murder of Palestinian teen Mohammed Abu Kader in 2014. The court rejected 31-year-old Ben David's insanity plea in the abduction and killing and found that he was well aware of his actions and had nationalistic motives. The killing shocked the nation and sparked days of Palestinian riots. The sentencing is set for next month, and Ben David is expected to receive a life sentence. Ben David's two accomplices were both minors at the time of the attacks, and each received lengthy prison sentences last month. 16-year-old Abu Qadr was kidnapped near his home in eastern Jerusalem, and later killed and burned. The act came soon after it emerged that three Israeli teens who were abducted in the West Bank were murdered by their Palestinian kidnappers. Today's sentencing came amid an ongoing crackdown by the Israeli government on acts of terror by Israelis, which it rigorously condemns. That's all for now. Stay tuned on ILTV.TV for our main daily broadcast, Playing After This. I'm Denise Wood, and see you tomorrow with our morning briefing from Israel at 8 a.m. Eastern Time.